the never full from Louis Vuitton versus on the go, which is the better bag. Hello everyone, welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I want to talk about Louis Vuitton comparing Neverfull versus On The Go, which is the better bag. Now before I get started, if you like the content on the channel, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel, it really mean a lot. Thank you so much for considering and on with the video. So today I wanted to go over these two classic totes from Louis Vuitton, the On The Go MM versus the Never Full MM. I feel like they are both just great everyday bags and if you're a bag lover and a lover of Louis Vuitton, I'm sure you've come across this bag in your wish list. Like I've always fallen in and out of love with many different bags and these two bags has consistently caught my attention over the years. So to start off, I'm going to go over how to style the different bags, ways to wear it, uh, structure, capacity, pricing, wearing, travel, and hopefully come out with a conclusion that will help you decide which bag is better and which is the bag for you. So let's get started. Now, looking in general, like right off the bat, it's very clear that the on the go MM, it's more of a structure bag. For me, it looks like more of a work bag, more um, businessy. Uh, whereas for me, when I look at a Neverfull, for example, I find that it's more a little bit more casual, more weekend day to day use. Um, but I think that both bags are great work bags if you're looking for something to carry like your planner, your documents and your laptop. So I think they're both great options to consider. So let's start off by talking ways to wear it. Let's start with the on the go. Now, I really appreciate the beauty and the craftsmanship of the on the go. One of the great things about the on the go bag is that it comes with multiple ways for you to wear it. Like first off, there is a longer strap for you to wear as a shoulder bag. And I know that some people hook on like a separate strap so you can have it as a crossbody if you really want to. But you can see that the strap is not detachable. So um, the strap like is quite set. You also have the option to wear it as a top handle. So there's like three ways to wear the bag and it just makes the bag instantly so much more versatile. You can see that um, the on the go is a very structured, polished looking bag, quite beautiful in its own right. I found that because of the structure and the shape, it didn't really sit as comfortable under the arm uh, when you wear it as a shoulder, like especially when you wear it as a shoulder uh, bag. Although the strap, it is a little bit shorter than the Neverfull. It does stay on a little bit better, I find, compared to the Neverfull. Uh, I've tried using um, the strap in the store that you can buy separately to see how it looks as a crossbody. And I just think that crossbody wise, it does look very wonderful as well. Overall, just find it really clever that they decide to add a strap to this tote bag. It's just too bad that it's not like a detachable strap. Um, I think one of the tips that people mention is that you could try using a organizer inside if you find that like it's just one big compartment inside it's hard to kind of have your belongings easier to find and another big difference is that it has two additional slip pockets on the side inside the bag compared to the Neverfull. So next let's go over the Neverfull. Now I love the Neverfull. Um, because it's just such an instant classic, right? It's a classic within Louis Vuitton for a reason. It fits like laptop, charger, ad agenda, and other things. Uh, I do find that the straps sometimes dig in a little bit more when I put heavier, more things in. So I try to keep the bag um, not over stuff, um, wear a little bit lighter because I find that it just kind of digs into my shoulder. Uh, the strap drop I do find is a little bit longer, which means that you can't really wear it as a um, as a top handle bag. It's more of a shoulder bag. So if that's your style, I think this is probably the bag for you if you prefer shoulder bags more. The strap is a little bit thinner, which is why it makes it a little bit more, I think it's a more unbearable to carry heavy things with it. Okay, next I want to talk about styling, starting with on the go. Now you can see the on the go print is like pretty loud and proud, this reversible monogram print. But one of the great things about it is that you can just reverse the bag and has two different like 
ways to wear it and it looks completely different so you can flip the bag around and it will look completely different depending on what outfit you're wearing um, I think it is a very loud and proud print so if you're not a big fan of Louis Vuitton's giant monograms then like this is probably not the option for you but I think a lot of people do appreciate how stunning it is and that all the little details associated with it um, and it's not as common as the Nenefer fold that you see everywhere. It is a little bit more business-like, but definitely um, I think that it is a very versatile option to consider. Now going to the Neverfull. Now the Neverfull, it's a bit more slouchy, more casual looking. I would suggest if you're um, looking to maintain this bag long term or looking to sell it pre-love later on, get an organizer to help it stay a little bit more structure over time uh, maybe it will wear the corners less as a result it is a classic for a reason i do find that the style of the little tassels on the side makes it just so cute and, and you can tuck the tassels in on the side to have a completely different style of how the bag will look and of course for styling the bag the bonus of course is this little pouch that includes that's great for essentials or like a quick evening clutch if you need to grab something on the go Overall, Neverfull is just such a timeless, ageless style. Next, I want to talk about is the capacity for the bag. Now, in terms of capacity for the on-the-go, unfortunately, it doesn't carry as much compared to the Neverfull. That's a little bit more uh, malleable because it's like not as structured. It's a little bit more slouchy, so it does hold a little bit more next to consider of course is the pricing now you can see that the neverfull for the demir bin and the mm size is two thousand five hundred eighty dollars and then same for the demir zur and then if you compare it with the on the go the price is significantly higher it's three thousand nine hundred fifty dollars for the monogram now for the leather version if you're looking at the neverfull mm it's three thousand four hundred fifty dollars and the on-the-go MM in the leather is $4,300. If you're on a budget, I think the Neverfull is the way to go. And on-the-go, it's just slightly pricier. Um, so you really have to like the bag to spend the money on it. In terms of wear, I do find that Neverfull, the handles, creases more easily versus on-the-go. And that kind of makes sense when you look at how the handles are styled like the thin, thinner strap, just like one piece. Whereas if you see the on the go, it's like a thicker handle overall. So that's something to think about. I mean, like these bags are not meant to be like indestructible. They're meant to be worn. Um, I do find the canvas is very easy to wipe and clean easily, but like you will notice wear on the corners of the bag especially on the bottom and you will notice creasing on the canvas especially on the Neverfull you put lots of heavy items that overstuff the bag but I find that the on the go because how structured it is it's easier for you to ding the corners so that's just something to be aware of now I talk about traveling with the bags which bag would you prefer honestly I would not use either <laughs> I just don't love the open insecure top um, associated with these tote bags for travel I will probably go with my speedy if that's the case because it would have a zipper option I also find that the downside is that the on the go is slightly heavier than the neverfull so that's something to consider if you want a bag that's a little bit more lightweight uh, neverfull is probably way to go another thing to consider when you're traveling with a bag is that the neverfull uh, can be folded flat whereas on the go it's a little bit more difficult so that's something that you may want to think about if you're planning on traveling with the bag so let's go to our final conclusion are you on team on the go or team never full which one would you prefer well for me i think both bags are equally just simply amazing like there's obvious reasons why people are contemplating over these two classic totes from louis vuitton there are obvious differences between the two different bags in that number one the on the go is definitely more structured has additional 
ways to wear it that it can be worn top handle crossbody or shoulder strap it's a little bit more business like and it is a bit heavier compared to Neverfull with a heavier price tag as well. Whereas the Neverfull is just a classic of classic within Louis Vuitton. It is a little bit more inexpensive, a little lighter, and just a tested classic with additional little pouch included. That is great for you to carry your essentials and also for simply when you need to go out with a little clutch. Um, so I think overall I've gone over some of the pros and cons related to it. It really comes down to what you prefer for your style and what you plan on carrying in it. If you don't plan on carrying a lot, I think that the Neverfull is a great option and on the go might be a more like business work style bag in my opinion. Uh, or something if you love top handles, I think the on the go is just simply divine as a top handle bag. I mean, after all, both of these bags are not on the inexpensive side, I would say, compared to other fashion houses, but it is one of the more entry-level um, pricing, quote unquote, more affordable bags within Louis Vuitton. And if you're looking for something slightly different from the typical Neverfull, I think On The Go is a great option. It's super versatile, and I love the beautiful detailing associated with it. So what do you think? Do you prefer the on the go, the structure workhorse? Or do you prefer the Neverfull, a nostalgic classic bag? I would love to know. Well, at the end of the day, I hope you continue to follow your heart and choose the bag that fits your needs and makes you happy from the inside out. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me on this video and I'll see you next time. Take care and stay safe everyone. Bye for now.